So the first one I'm going to talk about is, is VeChain and indirectly Cardano. And one of these, I'm going to massively increase my positions. And uh, we'll talk about why. So VeChain's new partnership, which really wasn't a really big deal when I, when I read it, could bring blockchain tech to dozens of untapped industries. And indirectly, uh, Cardano did this exact same move. And that's why it's so important. But yeah, let's just go into it. So the VeChain Foundation has partnered with accounting and consulting firm Grant Thornton Cypress. So if you're not familiar with them, let's just pull them up. So this real quick is from their website. Here's a history of Grant Thornton. It was created in the 1920s, so it's been around a good century. So uh, it's got a little longevity onto it. But what exactly is it? Well, today Grant Thornton LLP is the U.S. member firm of Grant Thornton International. Let me tell you, when they, when they say international, they are not kidding. If you take a look at where they actually are throughout the whole globe, uh, they are in over 135 countries, so they are essentially a powerhouse. But what do they do? Well, as it says right here, they are one of the world's leading organizations of independent audit, tax, and advisory firms. These firms help dynamic organizations unlock their potential for growth by providing meaningful, forward-looking advice. So really, if you look at it, what they are is they are like PricewaterhouseCoopers, audit, tax and advisory firms and they do a lot of consulting so when they talk about all these different countries and all their different clients if you take a look at the about excuse me if you don't look at the actual industries they have partnerships and they have clients in all these different sectors banking energy food and beverage healthcare hospitality insurance manufacturing educational private equity real estate and construction retail and consumer product services technology telecommunications and transportation distribution. So when we take a look at what this company brings to the table, it is massive. And when you take a look at what VeChain did, is they not partnered up with them, but they said, hey, we want to be a part of your family underneath your umbrella. And of course, they're going to pay massively for this. But it's not about the information that they can get from these from this group. It's all about what kind of connections they can build from all the different clients that they have. Again, take a look at the industries. And if they are global, which they, I mean, definitely are, and they are connecting people to people to people to corporations to entities to LLCs to whatever else to I mean all these different businesses, uh, it is a huge boom. So I have always talked about business, and it is not what you know. It is not your product. It is not how good you are at something. It is not any of those things. Really what it comes down to, in a lot of cases, it's who you know. There are different kingmakers out there and they are finite. So when you find something like this, uh, you grab on. I really didn't, didn't really appreciate that until I was uh, learning about Cardano when they went with Price Waterhouse Coopers. And I said, who really cares about that? And this was from, oh, this is from uh, March when they had hooked up with them. And this was uh, actually in a late January YouTube live stream. Hoskins had said that PricewaterhouseCoopers will drive a Cardano commercialization strategy. And I thought, well, that's good. You know, they hook up with somebody and then they can get that going. But when I take a real look at what's going on behind the scenes, these blockchains, these cryptocurrency digital assets that are going with these types of companies are going to supercharge them into getting into even more of the public eye or just behind the scenes and working with different businesses because it's all about who you know. And these people, I think, are kingmakers. Anyhow, moving on. According to an announcement from the company, the partnership hopes to extend blockchain solutions to a variety of industries, just like what I said. These will largely be determined by the Cypriot or Cypriot company's network of customers, but may include the food industry, pharmaceuticals, logistics, automotive, supply chain management, renewable, just what I was just saying. It only makes sense. If you go to these types of companies, it's a perfect combination. It's like you can do our audits, you can do a commercialization strategy, and also you have all these different people in place. We'd like to talk to them. Maybe you can connect us. <laughs> That's all it is. Moving down, discussing the company's interest in blockchain development, Grant Thornton Cypress, Director of Distributed Ledger Technology, Alexis Nicolau noted that 
legislation governing blockchain te technology in Cyprus is eminent, and they actually have their own person who is head of DLT. So if that's not a forward-thinking thing, I don't know what is. And then lastly, it states, recently the VeChain Foundation announced a blockchain-based food safety solution based on its blockchain as a service platform. And this is actually from an article we covered a couple weeks ago. Uh, this is on actually August 5th, where VeChain had actually partnered up with the third largest pasta producer worldwide, which at first I was like, who cares? It's just pasta. Good for them. What I initially thought that this article was talking about was that they were partnering with to to track the supply of the pasta that this this company actually produced just to make sure that it was fresh and that it was you know maintained safety standards or whatever else but that wasn't it that they were following the guidelines set forth by the Italian government to make sure that they were doing the protocols and safety checks for the coronavirus. And they were making sure that all their different employees were hitting these standards. And they were using VeChain in that way. So I thought to myself, okay, well, this is great because it's not just like every company is a pasta producer, but every single corporation has employees. And all these employees have to hit some type of protocols. And if they have to hit all these protocols because of this coronavirus, and not just this virus, I don't know what's going to happen in the next, I don't know, two years, four years, five years, what else is coming to the pipe? So if you can use VeChain in that regard, why wouldn't you do it, especially if it's transparent, makes it easy, makes it simple. So I was thinking about doing both of these VeChain and Cardano, but I'm going to massively increase uh, the amount that I invest into VeChain, especially with this move they did right now. I, I mean, I don't care what they did before. I, I don't care the partnerships they have right there, but just going in with these people right here, Grant Thornton, and they have all those connections and all the different things that are going to happen. Again, I think it's a kingmaker and I will massively increase and I will probably consider about buying uh, VeChain daily. All right, let's move on. Next.